Well, good morning, guys. All right, I've gotten some really good feedback about my grow station and many of you interested in knowing what my setup is. So I was talking to uh, Melissa over on Facebook and I just decided to get up out of bed early before the kids wake up and make this video for you guys. So um, a little bit about my grow station. It was something that I really wanted to do to start my seeds off. Um, and then when I started looking into how much they were, like on Amazon, it was like like anywhere from like six, seven, eight hundred on up uh, dollars for grow station uh, with the you know with the the grow lights and all of that. I just <laughs> I could not afford that. So then I started scouring Craigslist, Facebook, garage sale sites. Not only are grow stations hard to find, but they're also very expensive as well. Uh, the cheapest one I was able to find was $300. And I still just wasn't willing to spend that kind of money. So <laughs> I decided to make my own. Thanks to the help of the Rusted Gardener who did a fantastic video. I will link it up above in a card about how to put a grow station together so I would strongly recommend um, you guys go over there and watch that video he did uh, because he is he is the pro and this is my first year even starting anything from seeds usually I buy all my plants if I grow anything at all from you know Bordine nursery <laughs> so figured I would show you guys quickly what I did I will also link down below in the description box everything that I bought I will try to find the rack for you I found the rack actually at Home Depot and I was going to go with a um, more of those heavy duty racks, the ones that can hold a thousand pounds. Um, however, it was too wide for this space and I really wanted my grow station here. Um, I had thought about putting it there on that wall, but as you can see, that wall is much darker, even though it does get some natural uh, light from the, from the window over the door it's still a much darker area. Um, here, it's next to the wall that leads out to my deck, and I thought it would just get a lot of natural light on top of the artificial light. I was going to get a heavy duty one, and it just was a little too wide and a little too um, long for this spot. Then I was looking at the restaurant quality uh, grade uh, metal, racks and that was a little too narrow I thought to hold uh, my trays if I end up moving them vertically instead of horizontally. I ended up with an inexpensive just a plastic rack. This also comes in an ivory color but of course I chose the black because it just kind of matches my kitchen a little bit better. That cost me $35. So the rack was 35. The lights, I ended up going with an LED light and it was a set of lights. It was a set of four that I found on Amazon. Uh, there are certain lumens and, um, oh gosh, I can't remember the other name of, it starts with a K. Certain lights that you have to get for growing plants. You don't need actual grow lights uh, when starting from seed, um, but the Rusted Gardener, that video that I'm gonna link up above will explain all that for you. I will leave a link uh, down below to the Amazon lights that I got. These lights ran me $65, I think they were, for the set of four. I'm gonna unpackage <laughs> one of these here to show you. Um, I do have them tented in foil. Um, my girlfriend Chastity has been growing from seed for six, six or seven years now and um, recommended the foil. So I'm doing the foil. It helps keep the light in and the heat in. These are, I know it's kind of bright here, the LED lights. I'm going to raise them a little bit. So uh, the little pods I also got from Amazon along with the trays. They're, they were sold separately and they're from two different sellers, but they work out. Um, when I have to transplant these, I'll just put them in red Solo cup, cups. Um, you can also get those tin foil, kind of those roaster pans from the Dollar Tree or Dollar General or wherever and use those. So I plan on getting some of those as well. Yesterday I planted all of my herbs and some cherry tomato plants. So that's 
that's what I've got growing here. I wanted to leave some room and some space on the grow uh, rack in case those seeds that I started in the plastic bags, I'll leave the link up above uh, to that video. But just in case those take off, um, I'm gonna need some room under here. So I didn't wanna put too many plants under here, um, but I did wanna get my herbs started. So the grow lights were a set of four got those off of uh, Amazon. The trays and the little pods, um, also from Amazon. I'm using just some craft sticks. I, I think I got these either from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Um, I use them for homeschooling, so I'm using that as my um, little plant markers. My dirt I actually got from, it's an organic dirt that I actually was able to pick up for $4 a bag at Aldi's, so I picked up four bags for, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. For five of these trays, I used about a half a bag. So not bad, I have plenty of starter mix to go around. Most of my seeds come from MI Gardener because you know, he's local and I'm a Michigander and anything that I can do to help support his business, I will. Uh, there was a couple of seeds that I did pick up um, these were from Home Depot, um, of just some, a couple of things that I forgot to get from MI Gardener or things that he didn't have uh, in stock. But I would say 99% of the seeds that I got were all from MI Gardener just because I want to support his business. I want him to succeed. The uh, spray bottle that I'm using to water my plants with, like that, a dollar from Dollar Tree. I think that's it, other than some aluminum foil. So really inexpensive. The setup alone cost me around $100, a little bit over $100. So not bad compared, compared to if you had to go out and actually buy a grow station. So um, we hung the lights with chain. The chain did come from Ace Hardware um, up in town. It's because the chain that they give you with these lights, they will give you some chains, but they're not long enough. When you first start seeds, they've gotta be two to three inches above your trays until they start sprouting. And then when they start sprouting, you can raise them up a little bit. We needed the extra chain. So you can see here, Matt kind of hooked them together with a, a little S hook. And then we wrapped it around, um, which is what's nice about these plastic shelving units is that you're able to wrap the chain around and hang the light. So keep that in mind when you're looking at one of the reasons why I didn't go with the heavy duty one as well was because the shelf part here was completely solid. So hanging the chain would have been a little bit more difficult to try to figure out. So this was just really easy, just hang the chain. The lights are all, um, Matt has connected them all for me down here. And right back here, I've got like a little connecting power source there. So all four lights are connected there and then I can just turn them on and turn them off just like that. So that is the setup there. Very, very easy, very convenient for me. <laughs> uh, I don't have to do a whole lot other than just flicking that switch on and that's it. So really easy setup guys <laughs> and really inexpensive for a grow station so for a hundred bucks you can have one too <laughs> well it was a little over a hundred i can't remember offhand how much the chain was at total maybe 20 bucks and they'll cut it for you so all you have to do is take the measurement that you need um, and they will cut it right right there for you so i think that's everything <laughs> if there's another question that you have about about this or how we set this up, let me know. It was about a half hour <laughs> to, to put all this together. And what's nice is I can take down the lights and you know tuck them back away in their box. Um, and then I can use the shelving unit, you know, in the garage over the summer or whatever, you know, and uh, repurpose it. So really easy, really convenient. Yeah, that's how we put our little grow station together. So if you have any questions, let me know down below. Like I said, I'll leave all the links uh, to everything that I bought down below and hopefully that'll help you guys out. So, all right guys, <laughs> I'll be talking to you later. <laughs> Bye.